So, time for the third of the Infinity Darfoos mission packs. This time is my favourite, Dark Mist. Can you guess why? We've got two beautiful protagonists this time. We've got Isabel McGregor here and Yuriko Oda on the other side. So it's you, Jing, and Ariadna. And yeah, Angel, you have just done an absolutely cracking job of painting these. I love the fact that Isabel McGregor has the, uh, the little tartan sort of punky trousers on. You know, and then Yuriko Oda, she's just she seems like that very proper, very formal. So you can you can actually see from the design of these how the two characters, their personalities would clash. So we'll open our box and we'll have a look at the lovely art cards that we get. So first up, we have Isabel McGregor herself, and she turned out really, really beautifully. You know, for something that has went from concept to mini, it has came out perfectly one to the other. I, I may have to nick these and take them home with me. Then we have Yuriko, and you can just see from the expression on her face, she's a very proper, formal daughter of the, uh, the Yujing Empire. So we move on then, and we get the, uh, the design concepts. I love the fact that they put these in here because it, it gives you a flavor of where it came from, where the, the starting point of the mini was from. Because if we look at Yuriko's face, between here in this first one and what they finished with. So if I can get this onto the close camera, I will. Uh, there and there, you can see how they've changed her from sort of a very schoolgirl-esque look to something a bit more of a highborn lady, which is a very, very cool thing. Isabel McGregor, on the other hand, for her basic design, she's she's got that very punky, look you know very much the rocker of the infinity world and that actually seems to have stuck on through so we also obviously get our little code sheet and then we get the basic design for a little contact now i would have loved it if they had done her with the bubble gum on the mini i don't think they have but it, it would have been an interesting painting challenge and it would have been just one of the funny little things that you just go <laughs> Actually, that's really cool whenever you see it built and paint it. So, we'll get to the good bits, which is the mini. So, one, two, three little baggies of bits, and our little codes so that we know who packed it in case anything's missing. We will hunt you down if there's anything missing. And let's get on and get the minis out. So, it is annoying with the little baggies sometimes. You'll notice through this, I've been licking my fingers the odd time just to open these. If you haven't bothered opening the little baggies, just do that. It makes it a lot easier. Yes, I know some people are going, he's licked his fingers and then he's touching the mini. I, I really don't mind. Uh, so here we have, oh, actually, I think this is Isabel to start with. Yes, because we've got the, the really cool little punk outfit, even down to the fact that They've sculpted in the stripes on her top, so those of us who aren't quite so good at painting, we can still get a great effect off this. She's got that really low, agile pose. Now, this one does have quite a few bits, so this may take a moment, a little bit of flash. So we have her first little gun, so it's a, a little SMG, which is always, always fun. Her other gun is something slightly heavier. Ooh, uh, bigger little bit of flash it's something you rarely see from infinity is big big bits of flash so here's her other gun as you can see it's really delicately done but it does have that that rough and ready ariadna feel as if it's just been hammered out and just stuck on a shelf and then out to war we've got a little satchel so she's got her lunch with her uh, we then have her other leg and the one thing I love about the way they've designed the actual trousers on this mini, they've got chains and stuff hanging off, so you, you really do get that rocker feel, that sort of improperness that would grind against Yuriko. We've then got ooh, more more bits, more bits, more bits. This, I think, I have no idea what this is. It looks... Okay, I will say this, be careful with Infinity Minis because some of the bits are so delicate and so fine it's sometimes hard to tell whether it's flash or actually a component of the Mini. Because you look at that and you think that might be flash but I actually think it's a component that goes somewhere. I'm not sure what it is. If you know, stick me a comment below. Oh, now this, this is what makes Minis. 
we've got a, a little computer terminal. So she's got a little laptop that can just go down on the base beside her. Something like that, it, it adds to the narrative of a mini, just seeing, actually, I can see what they're working with. It's, it's not something holographic. I know Infinity do the holographic clear transfers. I have had trouble with those, and I want to look into seeing if I can put those on without them uh, steaming up. Because I always use a little touch of super glue, and it doesn't really work. If you have uh, any advice, guys, again, put me a comment below. And the last thing we have is, yeah, her uh, super punky hairstyle. So that's Isabel McGregor, and she is fantastic. The guys at Infinity have just done an absolutely great job on her. So we'll move all the bits, all the bits out of the way. So many bits. This would be a challenge to build. So if you're new to the Miniatures Hobbies guy, or guys, I would suggest maybe not taking this Infinity Pack as your first project, because that alone will probably be a bit of a challenge. So next up, I believe I've picked out Yuriko Oda. So yes, I have. So here we have her main body. And as you can see, she's got that, that uniform of the, the Kite Satsu. So it's really nice flowing big pants on her or trousers for those of us not in America. And then the light armor plate, which gets built around with the rest of the armor. We then have this. Again, this is another one you might think is a little bit of flash, but it's not. So we'll take the actual flash off and show you the, the complete bit. These are the, the two little antenna that go onto her back. So I assume that's just a little comms relay piece. We then have her sword. And, oh, very, very delicate little sword. So here it is here. And you'll see what I mean by they add the bigger armor plates further on so the mini itself to start with is quite lightly armored then you add on those big sort of samurai shoulder pads we then have another set of little aerials for her back and we then have her gun so there's just a little bit of flash here it is the thing with infinity you will find quite a bit of flash but there's a very good reason for that which is the guys at infinity use a metal which is slightly softer than the rest of the industry which means it takes the detail a lot better which is why you will end up with guns and other stuff that look like that you know it's it's simple it's clean it's got that great Yujing feel i absolutely love what they've done with this pack so we'll move her bits out of the way again she's maybe a little bit complicated for a beginner but I don't know, if, if you're up for a challenge, if you've just started and you're looking for something to challenge you to take you to that next level of your modeling, go for it. Next up, we have our little contact. Now, she's light, she's cute, and she's only three pieces, so this will be a nice easy one. So there she is there. Again, what I've noticed for the, the extra pieces for these, the little story-driven minis, you've got a single core body, so it's, it's nothing overly dynamic, it's just something to give you a flavour of. Here is a character, you know, more than here is an epic super soldier who's jumping and running and doing amazing things all over the place. We then have her two arms, and overall she's a nice simple little mini, because you've got all the great detail that comes with Infinity, right down to, you know, the little boots, the little uh, holsters for tools and such. Uh, they've even given her a, a little, little, tiny, tiny little baseball cap, which I think just, it makes the mini a lot cuter. Uh, the one thing I would have liked to have seen was maybe tools in the actual holsters, because they have that in the, the artwork, if you have a look. But I think overall, they've done an absolutely fantastic job on this third mission pack. So guys, that's the third one. Drop me a comment below, tell me what you think of it, and uh, I'll see you again on the next one.